Today is wing clip day. We're gonna clip the chicken's wings. We have never done it before, a little nervous about it. It's a painless process, they don't feel anything. And we're only gonna do one wing. We just don't want them to get our garden. We don't want them to get out of this, this chicken netting that we have. So I hope it works. She's the good flyer. Medium-sized Bernice. Alright, we're gonna clip these feathers. And we're gonna clip them just underneath these little feathers. Oh, look at that little bit of white. Ow! <laughs> Put your wing down. There you go. What a beautiful bird. Not that hard. If you want the stronger scissors, they're in there. Oh, good job, Bernice. Good job, Bernice. So being so brave. You are so brave for your haircut. chickens wings um, actually we just clipped their feathers we didn't clip their wings we clipped their feathers and we clipped one side of the wings so that way they're off balance and they won't fly and this is little Bernice and we're gonna show you her wing and it didn't hurt her at all here her feathers clipped her actual wing part is here and the, the longer flight feathers are down here which we just clipped off and she won't be able to fly very high. She can still flutter away and get away, but she can't fly very high over, over nets and fences. So we clipped the chicken's wings and now we're adding these little tent stakes. I had a bunch of these. We're staking down the portable fencing because the chickens, I'm hopefully they don't fly over, but then a couple of them have figured out how to go underneath. They'll just lift their head underneath and just crawl, crawl out. So I'm hoping that the tent stakes will prevent that. <laughs> to the Mother Earth News Fair recently, a couple weeks ago. I had talked to the Premier One guys. They had a booth there, and they're the ones who do, the, who do this um, portable fencing. I asked them about my current situation. 
where I have some egg layers. I don't want them to get out, but they're flying over, they're crawling underneath. He basically told me that I need to eat them <laughs> or get rid of them because they already know that they can get out. So he said I need to start over only because I don't have an electric charger. If I had an electric charger and started that from day one, then they know that they can't get out because it'll, it would be charged. But since they know it's not charged now, they already have that mindset that, yeah, we could get out of this. It may be a lost cause for what we're trying to do, um, but I figured I'd like give it a try. I really don't want to get rid of them. And so we're putting the tent stakes, we clip their wings. I don't know what can we do. I mean, other than putting a permanent fence, I do not want to put a permanent fence up. If all else fails, just leave them in the chicken tractor. I do move that just about every day. We have two nesting boxes now. Something that I wanted to do for the last month. It took me like 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes to do. I finally did it. So hopefully they'll be a little bit more happier.